Ladies and gentlemen, I challenge you, I challenge you that in every single one of your homes tonight, there's at least one book that has not explored its karma. It's waiting to fulfill its potential. It's wanting to be free. It's wanting to go out there and meet new people and travel the world. Bookcrossing.com. Book Crossing is the community that believes in spreading the word of literature, turning the entire world into a library and sharing books, tracking them across the planet as they travel. So your books will report home when they find a new destination. So this is global, ladies and gentlemen. This is big, from New York to New Zealand, from Paris to Polynesia. So if you put all of the books that are out there in the wild today end to end, they would wrap twice and a half around the equator. Isn't that extraordinary? So your books, they travel, as I said. So your books hitch a ride with people that they find along the way. So trains, planes and automobiles, they'll go to all sorts of foreign destinations. I actually had a book end up with a US soldier in Baghdad. Imagine my surprise when I got an email from that. So it's fascinating. These are the places that book crossers wild release their books. All sorts of funky places like park benches or even in a fruit stall. And here we have evidence that someone even released a book in a floating um, envelope on a pond. So <laughs> now, when you register at bookcrossing.com, you can actually um, sign up for getting release notices. Release notices of books that have been wild released in your area and you can go hunting. <laughs> hunting for those books. I found one in a video hire store. So it's not all about just wild releasing, which is good fun. It's also about controlled releases. Controlled releases is where you pass a book from one hand to another, to possibly a friend or an acquaintance, over a cup of coffee, or perhaps in a, a, a venue like this. Book Crossing is um, given to us by Ron Hornbaker. Nine years ago, he established a website, bookcrossing.com, made it free so that people could actually track their books around the world and turn them into a library. We are indebted to Ron. He's an interesting guy. So the website also has forums so you can journal your, your travels and your exploits with book crossing and all the interesting things you have done. And people who are avid book crossers can be rewarded with wings that give them special privileges and permissions on the website. But it's not just about wild and, and controlled releases, ladies and gentlemen. It's also about rings, rays and spirals. So a book ring. A book ring is usually a popular book that proceeds through a bunch of interested book crosses, one at a time, and finally returning home to its original. Book bags. Book bags are also very interesting. These are bags of books around a particular genre that also proceed through a bunch of interested book crosses. Each book crosser taking a few books out and putting a few books in. So when they return home, the entire bag has been refreshed. So who hasn't had that tome that they really wanted to read and it's just so daunting? Well, you can join up with read-alongs. So read-alongs are a bunch of people who are interested from around the globe in reading the same book as you. So you can actually get together on the forum. Also, there are challenges. Some of the challenges are simple, things like themed releases. So around Christmas time, releasing books about Christmas and holidays or Halloween. And there can also be some really nasty ones like reading the entire book along list in one year. So now who are these crazy people? Now, these are all a bunch of people that I met through book crossing in the last five years that I've been a member. So these are people represented from every state in Australia. There's a couple of New Zealanders in there and there's even someone from the UK and the US. You meet new people. And nothing could be nicer than receiving a random act of book crossing kindness. <laughs> so a rayback, as we like to call them. So you make a wish for a particular book and that wish can be fulfilled by a complete stranger from the other side of the planet. It's also about giving back into the community. So a book crossing colleague discovered that Westmead Hospital didn't have an awful lot of books for the poor little sick kitties. So book crossing came to the aid. We gave them a whole bunch of books for the kids. Also too, there's this community in Africa, the school was too poor. So we gave them books. Here is me with my official book crossing zone. So book crossing zones can be established in cafes or backpackers, wherever. And they're actually something between a wild and a controlled release, if you like. That's a place where books can sit and wait for someone to pick them up. Book crossing is also incredibly social. So on the second Tuesday of every month, book crossers from around the world will meet. Most major cities, so, and you're welcome with open arms if you stumble into one in another city. So these are a few events that I've been to. This is another social event, which is a bit more grander scale. We also do conventions. So this is a convention I went to in Melbourne a couple of years ago. So we're about 50 or 60 book crossers gathered. And here we are on a release walk. 
we, we were actually releasing books along the side of the river. So, ladies and gentlemen, you know you want to. It's global, it's green, it's, it's funky, it's fun. And there's a whole bunch of books. There's a big box of books in the antechamber that have been wild released tonight. You know you want to. Pick one up, take one home. Thank you. Woo!